Let me show you how to create animated bar graphs in Adobe Animate. Follow along in this video and learn how to import a design from Illustrator, create shape and classic tweens, set proper timing, and export the project as an MP4. So let's jump right into this video and get started. Here's the design in Illustrator that we'll be importing into Animate. Let's look at the layers. If I click the layers panel, we have all three charts on separate layers, chart one, two, and three. I also have the background on its own layer, as well as the title and text. Let's jump into Animate, create a new document, and import this Illustrator file. All right, I'm in Adobe Animate now, and we're gonna set up a slide presentation size document. Let's go ahead and click New File. That'll bring up the new document window here. From the presets, let's choose Character Animation. And you'll notice that there's an option here for full HD, 1920 by 1080. In the details, it's set just to that, 1920 by 1080. The units will be set to pixels and the frame rate 30. The platform type will leave at HTML5 Canvas. Once you have these settings, go ahead and click Create. Now, if I zoom out a little bit, just hold Command Control on Windows and your minus key to zoom out, you'll notice that there's our canvas 1920 by 1080. And as mentioned, we're going to be importing that Illustrator document onto this canvas. To do that, go up to File and then choose Import, Import to Stage. Locate the infographics.ai document and click Open. Your Import to Stage window will appear. And you'll notice all the layers from the Illustrator document are appearing here. I like to click this icon here, Collapse All. It just shows you all the layers collapsed. And you can notice that the ones that I want are checkmarked. I had a layer called Guides, but because I had it turned off in Illustrator, it won't appear here as a layer that I will import. Down below, you want to have Place Objects at Original Position selected. If you happen to see this Incompatibility Report warning, just go ahead and click that. It just resolves any spacing issues, such as letting or tracking. Go ahead and click OK, and it'll resolve any issues that you had from Illustrator when it's carried over to Animate. Once you have those settings, go ahead and click Import. Now the first thing I want to do is add a 10 second duration to the timeline. So go ahead and click Timeline, and you'll notice again, there are the layers that we transferred over from our Illustrator document. I'm just going to scroll over to the 10 second frame mark in the timeline. I'm going to place my cursor in the first frame on chart three. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the last frame to select all of them. And then I'm going to press F5 on my keyboard to add frames to lengthen the timeline to 10 seconds. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the shape tween animation to each bar in the bar graphs. Let's start with this one, the first one, 44%. Simply double click, which will drive into its own timeline. We're going to be adding the animations to each timeline within the shapes. With this shape still selected, I'm going to right click and choose create shape tween. And you can see in the timeline, it creates a one second shape tween. I'm going to drag the playhead to the first frame in the sequence. And then I'm going to select the free transform tool from my tools panel. Let's zoom in a bit command and scroll in. You'll notice a white anchor that's sitting in the center of the shape. You can drag that to the bottom center of the shape. Now I'm gonna turn my rulers on by going to view and then choosing rulers. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and then I'm gonna drag a top ruler to the 700 point in the left side ruler there and then release. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more drag the top of the shape and snap it to that ruler. Now you'll notice if I scrub through the playhead, we've set a shape tween there from point A to point B. I'm gonna click anywhere between the sequence and under the properties panel, click frame, and then let's choose classic ease, double click ease in out, and then double click the easing strength that you want. There are many to choose from, but for this tutorial, we'll choose Quint. So double click to apply. You'll notice if I go back, press return to play, and you'll notice that that plays through. 
with a nice ease in and out strength. Next, let's add a stop action to the animation. Without this action, the animation will loop continuously. So for this, we're gonna add another layer within this timeline. So click new layer and let's call this one actions. Click on the last frame on the actions layer and press F6 to add a new keyframe. Let's open the actions window. To access the actions window, go up to window and then choose actions. With that frame selected, let's click on add using wizard. The action we're going to select here is stop. The object on which to apply the action, this timeline that we're on. Go ahead and click next. The triggering event is with this frame, the frame that we have selected. Go ahead and click finish and add. You know that you've set the action because you'll see a little A symbol right above the keyframe in the timeline. Let's minimize the actions window and let's go back to the main timeline. I'm gonna zoom out again, Command minus key. And next, we're gonna add a fade in effect to the figure. So we have the bar set up, and now we wanna add a fade in to the 44%. So once again, let me zoom in a bit here. Click on 44% with the selection tool. And then let's go up to modify, and convert to symbol. Let's call this chart figure one, and then click OK. Now to add the animation to this 44%, let's double click it again to go into its own timeline. In the timeline, click on one second frame and press F6 to add a keyframe. Hold shift and click on the first frame then right click anywhere in the timeline in the sequence and choose create classic tween. Now we haven't done anything yet, so there is no animation, there is no motion to this. Let's click on that first frame. In the properties panel, click on object. Under the color effects, choose alpha. Let's turn down the alpha or the opacity to 0%. Now if I press return, you'll notice that it fades in. Perfect. The one thing I wanna do here is click on that first frame, hold and drag it to the 10 frame mark. That just adds a slight delay between the bar and the fade in effect. Click anywhere between the two keyframes in that sequence. Let's click on classic ease, ease in, out, and double click quint. We wanna remain consistent with the easing strength throughout the entire project. Much like we did when adding the stop action to the bar, we'll have to do the same thing to the figure. So add a new layer and let's call this actions. Drag the playhead to the last frame in the one second mark and press F6. In the actions panel, click add using wizard, scroll down, and the action we're adding here is a stop action. This timeline, and then click next. The triggering event is with this frame, and then choose finish and add. Let's minimize the actions window and go back to the main timeline. So to test this out, we can click on the play icon in the upper right hand corner. That'll launch in a web browser, and you, we can see how it looks. Here it is here, if I refresh the animation, you'll notice that it will animate the way we just set it up. The bar comes in and then there's a slight delay with the fade in effect. Let's use the same settings to create the second animation in the bar graph. Let's double click the second bar in the first chart that will drive us into its own timeline. Right click and choose create shape tween. Once again, you'll see that it'll set up a one second shape tween in the timeline. Drag the playhead to the first frame in the sequence. And remember, we're going to need the free transform tool. So go ahead and click that. Drag this anchor to the bottom center of the shape. Let's zoom in, command or control and scroll in with your mouse. Let's go ahead and drag a guide to the 700 point in the ruler. You could see that aligns with the first shape that we created. 
And then just drag the top all the way to that guide. You may want to zoom in as much as you can to do this. And just snap it to that guide there. That looks about good. I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. And you'll notice again, we created the shape tween. There it is, point A to point B. Let's click anywhere in that sequence and go to classic ease, click ease in and out, and then double click quint. You can see that it's just a much better strength when it eases in and out. It just looks a lot better than not having any ease strength at all. Let's go ahead and add that stop action, much like we did on the first example. Click the plus icon to add a new layer. Double click and let's call this actions. Click on that last frame in the actions layer and press F6 on your keyboard to add a keyframe. In the actions panel, click add using wizard and let's add the action stop. The object on which to apply the action is this timeline, click next. The triggering event is with this frame and finish and add. Let's minimize the actions window and go back to the main scene. Let's click on 56%. Remember, in order to animate this or add the fade in, you first have to convert it to a symbol. So go up to modify and choose convert to symbol. And let's call this chart figure two. Click OK. Now we're able to double click the 56% to drive into its own timeline. Let's place our cursor at the one second frame mark and press F6 to add another keyframe. While holding shift, click on the first frame. Basically what we've done there is selected the entire sequence. We can right click that sequence and choose create classic tween. Let's click on the first frame and go to object in the properties panel under alpha. Let's turn that alpha down to 0% and you can see that we have that fade in. Again, let's click that first keyframe and drag it. Click, drag it to the 10 frame mark just to give yourself a little delay between the, the shape tween and the fade in. Let's click anywhere between those two sequence points. Go to classic ease, ease in and out, and double click quint. Let's add the stop action by creating another layer. Double click to rename it and let's call it actions. Remember, drag the playhead to the one second frame mark and press F6 on your keyboard to add a new keyframe. In the actions panel, add using wizard. The action is stop. In this timeline, next, the triggering event is with this frame and finish and add. Great, let's go back to the main timeline. You'll notice that once you set the animations to both the bars and the figures, they will not appear on the main timeline. And that's okay, that means you've set them up properly. Let's focus our attention now on the second graph. I'm going to double click the first shape. And for this, I'm gonna place my cursor in the one second frame mark, press F6, place my cursor in the two second frame mark and press F6 again. Let's go ahead and select all of those keyframes, right click and create shape tween. Now for this, we don't want the animation to start until it gets to the one second frame mark because we want this set to play out first. So let's click the shape and let's drag the anchor to the bottom portion of the shape. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Once again, let's drag a guide to the 700 point in the ruler, and then let's drag the top of that shape down to that guide. Zoom in as much as you can, and just snap it to the top of the guide like so. Now instead of redoing that for the second keyframe in this sequence, let's click on this keyframe, right click, and copy frames. Then let's click on the second keyframe, right click, and paste frames. And you'll notice that the animation won't start until we get to the one second frame. Now let's click in between one second and two seconds. Click on classic ease, ease in out, and double click quint. Let's click on the plus icon to add a new layer. Double click and let's call this actions. 
Drag the playhead to the two second frame mark on the actions layer, click and press F6. In the actions panel, click on add using wizard. Choose stop as the action, this timeline, click next. The event is with this frame and then choose finish and add. Now let's go back to the main timeline. With the selection tool, let's click on 58%. We can also right click and choose convert to symbol. We'll call this chart figure three and then click okay. We can double click in the timeline, add a keyframe at the one second frame mark and add another one at the two second frame mark. Let's select all of them by holding shift and clicking the first frame, right click and then create classic tween. Let's click on the first keyframe and under object, under color effects, let's choose alpha. We'll turn that down to 0%. Click on the second keyframe, go to object, color effects, alpha, and it's set to 0%. And just ensure that the last one is set to 90%. Under alpha, let's choose 90. Now remember, we wanna add a slight delay between the figure and the actual shape tween. So I'm gonna click and hold the keyframe on the one second frame mark and drag it to the 40 frame mark. Let's also click anywhere in between 40 frames and 60 frames. Go to classic ease, ease in, out, and double click quint. Let's add that stop action layer, much like we've been doing. Actions. Place the playhead on the last frame in the sequence and press F6. Go to the actions layer, add using wizard, stop action, this timeline, and then click next. The triggering event with this frame, finish and add. Let's animate the final bar graph using the same method, only with slightly different timing settings. So let's double click the first bar in the final graph. And in this timeline, let's click on the two second frame mark and press F6. Let's click on the three second frame mark and press F6 again. While holding shift, click on the very first keyframe, then right click the shape or the timeline and choose create shape tween. Now let's focus our attention on the first keyframe. Remember, we're going to need the free transform tool for this. I like to zoom in. Let's drag the anchor to the bottom center of the shape. Much like we've been doing, grab a guide and place it at 700 in the ruler. Zoom in just to make sure that you're aligned there. Something like that is good. Zoom back out and then simply just drag the top to the guide. Zoom in if you have to. Something like that looks good. Now again, just copy this frame by right clicking and copy frames. Click on the second keyframe in the sequence, right click and paste frames. Click anywhere between the two second frame mark and three second frame mark and click classic ease, ease in and out, and then double click quint. Let's add our stop action by creating a new layer, double clicking and calling this actions. Drag the playhead to the last frame in the actions layer and press F6 again. Go to actions window, add using wizard, we're gonna choose stop, much like we've been doing, this timeline, and click next. With this frame, finish and add. Let's go back to the main timeline. We can click 64%, right click, and convert to symbol, and let's call this chart figure five, and click okay. Double click, and let's apply the same timeline settings. Click on the two second frame mark, F6, three second frame mark, F6. Hold shift, click the first keyframe, right click, create classic tween. 
click on the first frame in the object settings. Let's choose alpha under the color effects and let's turn that alpha down to zero. Click on the two second frame mark, object, color effects, alpha, zero. Click on the last keyframe in the sequence, object, color effects, alpha, and we're gonna set this one to 90. Go ahead and click anywhere between the two second frame mark and three second frame mark. Click classic ease, ease in out, double click quint. And finally, let's add our stop action. New layer, double click, actions, click on the three second frame mark, press F6, go to actions, add using wizard, stop action, this timeline, next, with this frame, finish and add. Now let's go back to the main timeline and zoom out. Let's finish things off by double clicking this last shape. Let's click on the two second frame mark, press F6, click on the three second frame mark and press F6 again. Hold shift and click the very first frame, right click the shape and choose create shape tween. Let's click on that first frame. Before we do, let's bring down this anchor to the bottom center. Let's zoom in again, bring down our guide to 700 and then drag the top of this shape to that guide. Just like that is good. Click on that frame, right click and copy frames. Click on the second two second frame, right click and paste frame again. Click anywhere between two seconds and three seconds, classic ease, ease in, out, double click, quint. There's our shape tween set up. You can see once you've done these a few times, it becomes muscle memory and it's easier to apply the settings. Create a new layer, double click, actions, place the playhead at the three second frame mark in the actions panel. We're gonna add using wizard, stop action, this timeline, click next with this frame that we have selected and finish and add. Let's go back to the main timeline. Just zoom out a bit. Click on 36%, right click and convert to symbol. And this is chart figure six and then click okay. Now we can double click to drive into that timeline and we're gonna apply the same timing settings in the timeline, click on Two second frame mark, F6. Three second frame mark, F6. Hold shift and click the very first frame. Then right click and we want create classic tween. Click on the first frame, go to object and in alpha here, let's turn that right down to 0%. And the last one should already be set to 90%. So we're all set there. The one thing I want to do here is create that delay as well. So I'm gonna click on that keyframe and we'll drag this keyframe to the 70 frame mark. And let's add our ease strength as well. So click classic ease, ease in, out, and then double click quint. Let's add our stop action, double click, actions. Place the playhead on the three second frame mark, press F6. In the actions panel, add using wizard, stop action, this timeline and click next with this frame, finish and add. And we've set up all the bars in the bar graphs here. So let's go back to the main timeline. Now I do want to, I forgot to add the delay to this figure. So to access that, click on library and every instance of the symbols that we created are right here. So chart five, just double click and it'll take you into that specific symbol. So let's click on the two second frame mark keyframe click and we're gonna add that or drag it I should say to the 70 frame mark and now we can exit this timeline, zoom out and as a final step, let's take a look at how it appears in a web browser before we export it as a video. 
All right, here's the finished product in my web browser. Let's refresh. We see our first graph, second graph, and the third graph all animated. Next, let's take a look at how to export the project as a video that you can share on social media or other web platforms. To export the project as an MP4 video for social media or other online platforms, let's go up to File and then choose Export and Export Video Media. In the Export Media window, let's choose Entire Movie. Set the format to H.264. Now you can leave the preset at default AME, or what I like to do is choose YouTube 1080p Full HD. Choose your output target, such as your desktop or another folder of your choice. And then I like to have this selected, Start Adobe Media Encoder Render Queue immediately. Let's click Export, and that will render through in Media Encoder. You can see here in Media Encoder that the video has been rendered through and saved to my desktop. Let's take a look at how it appears. Here's the MP4 video you can share on social media or a website. Let's play it and see how it looks. There's the first graph, the second, and the third. All the animation is playing through just the way we set it up using Adobe Animate. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create animated bar graphs with Adobe Animate. If you want to learn more about Animate and how to use it to create digital content, check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.